one another model I've run into has to do with with uh, the calling it saboteurs. Um, fella named uh, Shirzad um, Shamin has created a a whole model around identifying. He's identity. It's not a model. It's patterns, thinking patterns we all have to do with saboteurs, and we all have these sort of little. But and their intent is to do good stuff for us, but inevitably. The way they tackle things because their left brain it's the voices in your head going it's language based and it's critical and and they they never have the kind of success that you can have when you can quiet them when you can move into your right brain when you can go holistic creative visual thinking you know it's really interesting i was thinking about that the um you were talking a while back about your new drawing class it's a five week um drawing class to obtain confidence and develop one skill. So the instructor has taken the beginner class and basically just uh, puffed it out, made it, expanded it. So the first class was contour drawing, looking at lines and particularly exterior lines. So then the other thing was to get us to do it blind and blind being you do not look at your page yet you have a page in front of you and you are looking at the object as you draw. So if I was to do that right now with looking at you, It's very interesting what I want to observe and I, where I was kind of going with that because I knew what you were doing and that is that that as you were doing as you were doing the drawing yes your speech got slower and slower and sometimes you were actually searching for words or you do half a word okay and then finish it so it's very interesting your speech pattern got slower and and you were reaching for it as because uh, you know what what you were what you were doing was forcing you to use your right side of your brain which of course is visual and holistic and not language so as you move uh, over right side right. you know so i've i've read books of, to do with i think there's a book called drawing on the right side of the brain yes betty you, edwards right to that teaches you what what i remember her saying in this book was that when we go to draw a chair most of us will draw you know just a it's a symbol for a chair because our brains are we're so left brain dominant now that and it's hurry up hurry up hurry up and so it is like oh thank you very much let's get on to the next thing no if you're going to draw you can't you you have to shut that left brain symbolic side down and engage the right brain and actually look and see and that that whole same thing with creativity it has to be you need to be engaging that holistic visual right hand side of the brain yeah i mean lots of creativity involves words too you know writing and what not but it, isn't it interesting that that so often the process of of engaging creativity is slowing down moving over to that right hand side and the interesting thing about that is when you move over to the right hand side that inner chatter of all the negative voices get silenced yeah or, or get a whole lot become a whole lot quieter um which and, brings to the point of healing hmm you know because if you're dealing with things that are um not just the naysaying within your own projects but the um uh, possible challenges and and um difficulties that one might be managing in one's life by engaging in with creativity it is forcing one to subconsciously reframe even whatever else is going on in one's life.